What up, what is it, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS Man. Welcome back to another Madden 17 video. Letting you guys know we have another team transformation that we went ahead and went through. Picked up a few players, and I kind of want to pick up a few more, but I'm still like deathly dying. Oh my goodness, man, I feel terrible. Um, but let's go on ahead. And uh, take a look at the differences we have. First and foremost, you'll see that our offensive line are all boosted up. One more overall due to Joe Thomas. We went with Joe Thomas over um, Tyron Smith because Joe Thomas, the motivators uh, addition, gives plus two pass block to the entire offense. So I really thought that right there is a, a very, very, very good boost to go on ahead and add to the offensive line. Um, one thing I definitely hate is trying to pass the ball and I get a shed like right away. So hopefully this right here can help even if it just holds a block for a second longer. You know, there's so many interceptions I throw just panicking, throwing the ball because there's a shed and I'm about to get sacked. And uh, if, there, if I just had a full second more in the pocket, I would have been able to make the right throw but unfortunately, you know, my uh, offensive line gets beat. So hopefully this can help me out uh, just a little bit more. Even if it just works on one more drive a game, I'll take it. Um, you can see he himself has 94 pass block. Um, with Edge Protector Tier 1, he would actually have 95. And he would go up to a 94 overall. Um, but you can see Assembly, my boy Smelly right here. You know, he now has a uh, 96 run block with an 89 pass block. <coughs> Excuse me. Unker is now a 97 overall. And he jumps up to a 95 pass block with a 92 run block. Will Shields is still slow as dirt. But he has a 93 pass block with a 94 run block. And then we got my boy Stray, who gives plus two run block to everybody. And he has 97 run block with a pass block of 91. And then we have uh, Gronk actually goes up to a 97 as well because of the plus two pass block. And so does Strong. He goes up in overall as well. Um, so that right there is, is good. Now, uh, LT goes up to 95 overall because I have the ankle breaker offensive chemistry, not by choice. It just so happens that the defensive co the coach that I have, I have him for the defensive chemistry, he happens to bring uh, ankle breaker. Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay, Mulligan. So he must be 95 overall because of the, you know, plus two, everything else. Okay, I thought I had ankle break. I must have changed it. I changed my coaches so many times yesterday. At one point, I was rocking a defensive coach with ankle breaker. Okay, now I have pick specialists and route work. My bad, Mulligan. So defensively, uh, we got some changes as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you know, we still got Lawrence Taylor. Um... But I went ahead and picked up Stephen Gilmore. And this card just looked really, really, really good. I went ahead and got rid of Willie Brown. Well, I gave him away on stream because I'm a boss like that. But uh, he has 92 speed. Now because of all the boost, you know, he brings plus two press to the entire team. Uh, 93 acceleration, 90 agility, 93 man coverage, 91 zone, 96 press. Because he brings, again, plus two press to everybody. But did I say press before? I'm not sure, but he does. <laughs> Plus two press to the entire team. And uh, his chemistry is locked down, which I have tier one of. So he gets another press and another man in zone. Tier two will bring another press. No, excuse me, play right. But it will bring another man in zone. So he can go up to 94 and 92 uh, coverages. But obviously, this, he's really expensive. But, you know, the speed is what I'm really, you know, worried about. You know, uh, a lot of people are getting Randy Moss and Herman Moore and Rice and these guys with, no, with 91 speed. In the last game I played, the last head-to-head -head game I played, uh, Josh Norman was getting torched by McCaffrey. I'm talking like five yards of separation from McCaffrey. And, you know, I, I couldn't I couldn't take that. You know, that's that's not good. You know, my defense is already bad as, as, bad as it is. The last thing I want to do is have, you know, uh, my guy just get beat just because of speed, you know, so uh, I went ahead and went with Gilmore as 90 uh, 92 speed uh, Night train lane is now a 97 and this is because of all the things, you know, plus two 
a block shed plus two power move and on top of the boost uh, he now has big hitter and pick specialist tier two uh, so speed jumping play rec acceleration catching another play rec block shed strength uh, plus two hit power all that stuff is added um, so he himself has 92 speed on top of him getting plus two press so uh, the reason why I have uh, Norman and Blunt at number four and five is the fact that Night Train Lane is faster with 97. So I just want my guys to to be there, even if they give up a play, because I play a lot of man to man. You know, uh, I play a, a good amount of man to man, or even in zone. Even if they get beat, even if they're uh, you know not there to break up the pass. Be close enough to make a tackle right away. Just don't get beat because their offensive players is faster than you and you just can't keep up and it's a touchdown. Or it's a 45-yard gain and I got to wait till Xavier Rhodes comes all the way from the other side of the field to make a tackle. Even if you get beat, just be close enough to make a tackle. So everybody has 92 speed on my starting three. Um, except Rhodes has 93 speed because of the pick specialist. And 94 acceleration, 92 agility. And... Uh, he also gets uh, 88, I mean, 96 press because of the plus two press. So, uh, him and Gilmore both have uh, 96 press, which is really, really, really good. Again, uh, press, I think, is extremely underrated. You know, press can change the entirety of a play. There's so many times where, you know, I'm ready, I already have, I predetermined my route. Okay, this is where I want to go. You know, uh, I'm going to the X receiver on the left side. He's running an out route. This is what is going to beat his defense. I can tell he's been playing his defense all game. This is the adjustments I make. Okay, now's the time. I'm going to hit him with this out route. And then I just get pressed. And then because I get pressed, like, it just changes everything, you know. So I get pressed at the line for a second and a half. Next thing you know, um, his receiver, I mean, his uh, my receiver is now behind the cornerback because of the way he got pressed and now his guy is in position he's in front of me and it, it can change everything of a play press is very 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 important uh at least for me i like to think so because again it can change everything about a play if your guy gets jammed at the line badly you can pretty much just remove him out the play um so both of those guys have 96 press 96 on the outside then we got Blunt, and then we got Norman, who's a 97 overall because of all the chems and all the boosts. Uh, he goes up to 91 speed. Um, he does get all of the boosts, but again, it's just his uh, chemistries are not added to it. Like, uh, I'm, I won't get locked down, you know, three-fourths of a way done because he's not starting. But he does receive the Tier 1 and the Tier 2 of Pick Specialist, so... Uh, that's what we decided to do on defense. Now, there is one, there is a few more players I thought about getting. Like, I thought about getting Harrison Smith. I won't lie. You know, it's just that looking at everything, Sean Taylor's just too good. But I'm still thinking about it. And the fact that Harrison Smith was going for like freaking 670k yesterday. His average price is about 615. So you're probably not going to see him for more than 600. I mean, less than 600. Yo, these Aaron Donald, yo, they're finessing these Aaron Donald, yo. Good thing I got mine for like 900K. Okay, Harrison Smith is, okay, a little cheaper than 600K. I really thought about getting this guy. I'm looking, because you guys know I still have his limited card. I still have it. This card is so, I'm sure it's amazing, man, because this card right here was phenomenal. But I'm looking, I just like I just can't do it. Sean Taylor's just faster. Um, the hip power will be the same. Harrison Smith, though, does add plus two hip power to everybody. Which is why I really thought about doing it. I mean, you know, plus two hip power would definitely be a very big thing just to add to all my linebackers, my safeties. Just have them hit a little more harder, which could break up more tackles. It may be cause a fumble or two more. Um, and I already, I'm already positive that this Harrison Smith is going to play amazing because his limited card plays amazing. But just looking at Sean Taylor, I just can't do it. Like, 
Sean Taylor with that hip power, that pursuit, and that speed really is the difference. You know, plus three speed, he's just going to cover more ground, which is why I really don't want, you know, what I'm doing. You know, and I thought about getting uh, Emerson as well. Now, Emerson has 91 speed. Well, pick specialist means he will go up to 92. And uh, I would have had him over Blunt. But again, Blunt is just way too of a very big run stopper to where if somebody's running the ball heavily, I know I can come out in 4-4 and put Night Train and Blunt on the outsides to go ahead and help me stop the run. Um, and plus, his press is really, really, really terrible. If his press was about 88, somewhere around there, most likely I would have picked this card up. <coughs> but his press is just terrible. Terrible. And it worries me that when I come out in a press situation that he's just going to get beat back because his press is just terrible. But everything else is, you know, good. And plus, he would give plus two, uh, what, zone? No, plus two man to everybody. So that would mean Night Train would get 94 man, 94 man for Norman, uh, 91 for Rhodes, and then a 94 for Gilmore. Um, so everybody's man coverage would be really good whenever I run man. Um, but it just his press is uh, really, really weak. And I also thought about getting this Navarro Bowman. I thought about getting Navarro Bowman because over uh, Brewski. Because one plus two tackle to everybody is, you know, not a bad thing. I mean, it's not the best boost to have, but it's useful. You know, that just means that hopefully they connect with more tackles. Um, you know, obviously their success rate for tackles should go up, even if it's just like 1%. But um, when you take a look, one, he's more salary capped. So in EA's eyes, Navarro Bowman is more valuable of a card than uh, Brewski. Um, his hit power is way higher. Like, way, way higher. So, uh, to me, that just shows that he's going to come down and hit really, really hard. So, that's why I think him and Harrison Smith would have been an amazing combo. Like, an amazing, amazing combo. Because that would have brought his hip-hop up to 96. You know, Cam would have had, what, like, 97 hip power. Like, the entire team would have just been smashing, like, really, really, really hard. Um... His uh, play rec is right there with Brewski. Uh, Brewski does have more zone coverage. Speed is one off, so, you know, not the biggest thing in the world. Um, slightly less awareness. And I thought about it, but I was like, you know, Brewski so far has been doing pretty good for me, man, so I can't complain. And Erlacher is just, you know, that speed and that height is tough to uh, tough to come away with. Man. But, but these cards are freaking awesome, man. These plus two to the entire team is a really, really, really awesome thing, and I like it. Um... Yeah, so we picked up a new offensive lineman, a few new defenders, and uh, we went ahead and uh, got, you know, some different chemistries going, and I really hope that our coverage is going to be just a little better uh, with more speed out there, because again, speed and Madden, in my opinion, is just very, 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 very important, you know, so if I can go on ahead and uh, just stay with my defenders, I mean, stay with the offensive personnel more. Or, you know, if they if they catch a pass, you know, I go on ahead and I'm just able to make a tackle because my guys are fast enough and they're right there. Even though they got beat, they didn't get beat by too much. That's what I'm looking for. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get you guys some gameplay uh, later today of the new team. So that's the end of the video, fellas. A few new updates. 97 Max Sean. I need to, I need to run some iPhone because, like, he's just too much of a goon, man. I need to run some, some iPhone out there. Like, look at his run block, bro, 93. 93, bro. I need to factor him in. <laughs> That's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Peace.